What up, y'all? This looks familiar? Does it look familiar? Hold on, it may not look completely familiar because I'm moving around doing a bunch of wacky stuff. Hey, yo, what's up? We back on the set of The Box, you know what I mean? Except we ain't doing an episode of The Box. We following up with yesterday's vlog. If you watch yesterday's vlog, you'll be able to see where we picked this chair up and why we picked it up. Today, we're gonna unbox it. I figured might as well unbox it for you guys so you guys can see what it's hitting for. It's not a bad chair. This chair only costs under 20 bucks. There's not many chairs out there that I know that you can use for under 20 bucks. It's an office chair, it's nothing too major. However, it will help me out considering my other hoopty chair. My chair ain't got no backrest. They schemed me for that, John. You already know what happened there. But I'm about to just unbox this, John. We ain't gonna do nothing with no crazy voiceover, no crazy beat, no crazy multiple angles and all that stuff. I'm gonna just unbox it like a traditional unboxing. See how long it takes me to unbox it and build it in front of you guys so at least you guys can see what it's hitting for. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have the back L piece for the chair. It's wrapped up with some styrofoam. Yeah, so we have the back L piece. It has like a little plastic cover. Let's see what else we have in this box right here. All right, so we have a brand new backrest. This is what they scheme me for. This is what they pulled that heist off for, yo. I had like five Russian dudes come from Russia and they came over here on like a private jet and they said, yo, young boy, give me your bag, right, young boy. Young boy, muck, 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 young boy. Nah. <laughs> nah, but yeah. This is a fresh jar, nice and crispy. My back is looking forward to resting on it. I'm telling you. Cushy, 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 cushy. Looks nice. Cool. Cardboard box. More cardboard scrap. Ah, we got some tools. Some tools, some screws. Uh, we have a little plastic cover for the back of the seat. An island key. Cool. Comes with all the screws that we need to build the chair. We have the wheels. A bunch of wheels. One, two, three, four, five wheels. moments later and sometimes folks stuff like that just happens so guess what i was here vibing now i was here getting all jiggy with it pop locking and all that stuff i'm not even sure if y'all caught it or not luckily when i got this far into building the chair you know mr fix it and all i decided to go and check the camera and fortunately i checked the camera before finished shooting this whole unboxing because the camera had paused the take Yup guys, the camera paused the tape and I missed so much pure, natural, vibrant energy. Yup, there ain't no way I can reduplicate all the good stuff that I was saying and doing. But, hope you guys understand. I'm keeping it real, I'm keeping it funky fresh. You know, this is the stuff that happened. It happened behind the scenes, man. It happened. I don't know what you got a chance to catch or not catch yet during this unboxing. And I'm sorry it went down this way, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? So as you see, we have the bottom of the chair already installed. We have the five wheels already installed. We have the bottom of the chair installed, which is where the lever for the hydraulic, the Remember I was telling you about that earlier? If y'all caught it. And then we have the bottom of the actual chair connected to the base. We took the screws provided. It provided some screws and it provided an island key. Each screw has Loctite on it. Loctite is a blue liquid. This blue one is the temporary Loctite where you can tighten it up and it basically locks in the groove so it doesn't come loose over time. So I just tighten up all four screws in an X pattern. After I tighten up all four screws, the base is connected, the levers connected, everything's looking pretty good. The only thing that I need to install now is the back of the seat and the backrest. So let's see how that goes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this upside down. All right, so I got the backrest pieces right here. This is the backrest right here. And this is an L-shaped piece. I'm not even sure what it's called. What's the terminology for this right here? But I know this is what goes behind the seat in order to keep the backrest on. So as you can see here, I'm gonna unscrew this. This is like a knob that goes connected to the bottom of the seat. I don't know how many of y'all are like me. And when you were growing up, you never really read the instructions. You just grabbed the item and just started building it you know, by staring at the box or just using your own, you know, common sense. 
I was that type of person too. I didn't start appreciating instructions and things like that until I got older. And I was like, man, you know what? I spent all this money. I might as well absorb some knowledge from this John, you know what I mean? So at this point, you guys probably can't see this top half, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it around for you so you can get a better idea of what I'm doing right here. Let me move these screws out the way. Screws out the way. I'm gonna put it like, whoa. Y'all saw that, right? I'm gonna separate that for the meantime. I'm going to take one of these screws. I'm gonna take the longer screw and I'm pretty much just gonna lock this in right here. Guys, we have no idea how to put this on. Ain't crazy, right? Little twenty dollar chair can't even install it. So no, I should be able to get it. I'm not sure why that isn't installing correctly. Wow, that's awkward. Oh, that goes here, right? Is this? Ah, there you go. Okay, you hit them ambulance, y'all. Them ambulance work non-stop, yo, no matter the weather. All right, so last but not least, we have this back bracket, this bracket cover thing right here. What do you want to call this? What do y'all want to call this? This bracket thingy, cover thingy right here? All right, so we're going to take this, and I'm going to take that cut. I'm going to put this down, right? I'm going to sit this right here. Let's move this out the way. I'm going to take this, and you see these? It looks similar, right? You see that? That looks like it goes right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these screws and I will take two of the screws and I will also take this cover and I'm just gonna use the screws and I'm gonna put it through the cover. You see how I got it right here? You see it? And I put the other screw right there. So right now there's two screws fed through it. So all I'm gonna do is, it says this side is up, you see? So the smaller side goes faced up you wouldn't want it like that with the bigger side. So the smaller side goes faced up and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make sure that I leave the opening face down. You, you see there's an opening? You want that face down so the chair can slide in it. I'm gonna take the little island key that they gave me. Yo, it'd be messed up if it cut again, right? Hey, yo, man, they draw it on it, yo. I was lit. Y'all really miss me being lit, yo. I was wilding out like Nick Cannon, you know what I mean? I was wilding, I was tripping. I was having fun though. The whole point is I me mean, having fun. Like, forget what y'all think. I'm having fun. All right. So as you can see, I tighten up both bolts. Don't over tighten them. You don't want to strip it. Last thing you need is to strip your chair. All right. So now we have the backrest cover installed. So now we're going to flip the chair right side up and we're going to take this backrest. And you see this right here? Bam! Super salty mode. This should have been loosened first. You see? That's why you need to read instructions, kids. That's exactly why you need to read instructions. They save you a headache and they save you some time. Any and every second counts, yo. The ripple effect is real. All time is relevant. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. That was a super salty mode, yo. Like how you do an unboxing and you install it incorrectly. But I could fraud and I could like edit it out and stuff like that. I could be like, yeah, this jaw was unboxed perfectly. But no, I'm not even down with that, man. It is what it is. It came out how it can't came out. Oh man, what's up with this, y'all? John scheming on me. Oh man. There you go. Tuned it wrong. Guys, I just did that all wrong. That's my fault and that's what I get for not reading any type of instruction manual. Oh, okay, so let's try this again. First thing I should do is take the screws that I provided, put them through the holes, put this right here, you see, because it has grooves. This has grooves that's supposed to specifically fit just for that. So after that's in the correct position, I'm just gonna take this. Oh man, this is a snitch, y'all. Jeez, I never had so much of a headache. I don't even think I had that much of a headache building the other one. There you go. All right, so rewind. Rewind all that nonsense I was talking about earlier. 
Before you put on that black back piece thingy that we still haven't yet named, make sure this little bracket right here is installed. There's two holes where it can fit in. You see? I'm not sure if y'all can see. Now I'll take the black cover and now with the screw, I'll put the screw through the black cover like this. Oh wow, this is a bitch. Chair, yo, what the fuck? See, this shit I couldn't do on the box, y'all. I think curse. We'll get into another episode on, on why profanity is helpful for me. But, yeah, man. John drawing. A hey, perfect time to draw, right? Perfect time to draw? Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Four to six days later. All right, let's try this again. And that's incorrect still. Am I asking for too much here? For this to operate normally, am I asking for too much? What am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? What are you waiting for? You! Will, will it hurt this device to allow me to install it simply without being too complicated? Or does it have to be a, a, a complicated task? The thing is, is that I built the other one and the other one did not take nowhere near this long. Crazy, bro. What type of nonsense is, is this? Oh man. All right, I'm believing that's how it goes. I believe it goes just like that, except I need to take this cover and get this cover installed as well. I'm about to, I'm about to, it's, 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 it's. Like, yo, what's up with this draw, man? It's crazy. You got time for this? Yo, this is above and beyond retarded already. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, YouTube world. This is the worst unboxing ever. Seriously. <sighs> ridiculous, dog. How hard is it to install a chair? You gotta be kidding me, man. Why it's important to read the instructions. Thing is that I damn near have everything in, and it's just like. There you go. There you go. There you go. I finally got it, man. Sheesh. I'm about to just like go back to Walmart. Like, yo, y'all gonna have to build this job for me. What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? Oh man, big fail moment. You seen that? Make mental note to self. Grow an extra pair of arms out your torso like like Goro or whatever that character is from Mortal Kombat. There you go. Yo, this job. Uh, that's how I'm gonna let out some stress and some tension. John got me over here about to uppercut it. I'm about to pull one of Lex moves. 
My oh, man Lex. Oh man. Yo, I'm about to fail myself. Seriously. I'm about to fail myself for this year. If y'all ain't click out already, I appreciate y'all. For real. Because I would have done clicked out myself. Like, this boy don't know what he doing with, with, with that little cheap chair, bro. Like, I ain't think it's this complicated. I mean... Come on, like, I'm a professional unboxer. Y'all don't know that already? I'm a professional unboxer. After unboxing 10 items last year, I was a professional. Yet alone 52. I'm professional at this point. It should not take me this long to, to put something together. Not at all. Yo, what's up with this, John, dog? Yo, Walmart, y'all show me a defective this chair. Yo, y'all show me a defective chair. You messed up my unboxing, bro. Seriously. Mr. Walmart, dude with Walmart at the end of his name. You owe me a freaking new unboxing, bro. Seriously. Why is this one so hard to build, yo? Seriously. I've built these chairs before. That's what I'm not really getting. Finally got it. Jesus Louises. This junk, I mean drain out, oh, yo. You missed it. I was doing the matrix over here. I was flipping around. I was enthusiastic in the mofo. 12 hours later, or my SpongeBob voice, 12 hours later. You know what I mean? Like, Joe got me all frustrated, intense. I gotta go hit the gym, go sock the bag around. You know what I mean? Go do 10,000 push-ups and 700 sit-ups. So now they're like, yo, do 10,000 push-ups, dog? No, look at these puny arms. Wasn't we talking about that earlier? Puny arms. I went vegan and I've done, done lost all my yummy, my little pepper. Said, nah, this is cool. All right, so, damn, if it cut by now, yo, if it cut, I'm not gonna go shoot this again. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just do a recap and a review. Like, yo, this chair is popping, dot, 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 the end. <laughs> All right, guys, so 27 days later, I was able to tighten everything. I tightened up the back piece. You see, the back rest, back piece, back thing that we didn't really come to an agreement on what we were gonna name it. We have this bottom knob over here. We locked it in to the bottom plate with the hydraulic. Remember from the 1964 Cutlass? Or what was it, 1964 Impala? There you go. Cutlass is a hot too. Cutlass Supremes are dope. But no, no, no. Impala, Impala. All right, so we got this joint all installed. So this is the top half of the chair. Let's grab the bottom half of the chair. Here goes the bottom half. So everything appears to be built for the most part. The bottom half is in one piece. All the wheels are installed. The Ninja Star thingy that we never really came to an agreement on what it was gonna be called is installed. The shock is installed. The base is installed with the lever. The bottom of the seat is installed. The top of the seat or the backrest is installed. And that little L piece or the or the back bracket that holds the backrest to the bottom of the chair is installed. And we have, I believe, one or two extra screws. Yeah, I guess they give us extra screws in case we lose them. So now, last but not least, let's put this on top of here. Look it. Oh, no, no, no. Incorrect. Before we put this on top of here, 
we must take this piece. Remember this piece? I don't know if y'all remember me talking about this in the beginning. It goes like that. There you go. And now, oh man, the chair's finally built. And y'all can't even see it, right? It probably get cut off like halfway. Yo, finally, dog. This John is finally built, man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me move this table out the way so y'all can really see the chair, man. I got a backrest now. I'm chilling. Look it. This chair is way better than this chair. That's if you want to call it a chair. Look at the difference. Yeah, I know, I know, y'all. This joint is like a hoopty. This joint is a true definition of a hoopty. But guess what? I'm so stubborn, I'm probably still not gonna throw it away. I'm gonna probably get like some cushion. I'm gonna rewrap this joint, put some staples, and this is gonna be like a little, like a little hoopty stool. So when people come over, yo, y'all sit on the hoopty, you know what I mean? You get old and busted, I get new hotness. Remember, like in Men in Black? I drive the new hotness. Old and busted, new hotness. Old and busted, new hotness? Yeah, look at this joint. It's nice though. It's really nice. It's simple, you know. I prefer simple. Less space, it don't take up a lot of space, you know what I mean? Still gets the job done, you're still able to sit on it. Plus, I don't want to be reclining back too much anyway. But yeah, guys, so it wasn't that complicated to build, other than me putting a few things in the wrong place to begin with, but that's because I didn't read the instructions. I didn't know you needed to read instruction to build one of these things anyway. Like I said, I built these chairs before, the same identical chair before without instructions. But of course today while the camera was rolling, all the technical difficulties would happen. That's how the life of a filmmaker goes or a low budget independent filmmaker. But other than that, y'all, I'm Gucci. I'm ready to like do willies on this junk. No. But yeah, I'm chilling. This joint already feel nice and comfy. Once I put my knee on, I'm like, oh, ew, my knee. Ew, my knee about to fall asleep. Ew, ew. I'm about to go to sleep, yo. I'm tired, all right? <sighs> Good night. Say so, now, yo, what's up with Toon, dog? He ain't even say peace out yet. Nah, but yeah, I gotta clean up this mess, man. There's a huge mess in here. You missed half of the unboxing. What's up with my technology lately, dog? Like, my technology been really funky, yo. Like crazy but other than that y'all this is a $20 chair from Walmart if you need a quick affordable option for a chair something that you can sit on and roll around black neutral color that matches everything I say stop by Walmart and grab one of these bad boys for 1984 I was able to get a whole chair I can't complain now I'm ready to get back into editing all right y'all so please hit that like button thank you for watching I catch y'all tomorrow, right?